are going to Japan. It's like 15, 16 hour flight. We're going on an adventure, a step of faith. It's a really good place to go. <laughs> and I realized that um, Lord was, he didn't cause it, but he allowed it for a nation of people who have a lot of pride and there was brokenness, and it was a great chance to show his love to them. It's so exciting to be there for the first time just to, to land on Japan, Japanese land, you know, like. <laughs> uh, because I love the Asian people and uh, I don't know, I just feel like I need to go down there to help somebody out. We're going there because we feel called to help God's people. I'm going to minister and help with the tsunami relief. Some Japanese businessmen came to the ticket counter at work and um, I tried to have a conversation with them in my limited Japanese and I just told them how very sorry that we were about what happened and they were just so taken aback that I cared that I felt like it was the Lord saying this is an open door. Good news about this area though, we were told that the people right on the beach knew it was coming and you got out of here. There were most people that were killed were in more inland areas who never had been hit before. And so these they lost all their houses, but there weren't really people killed right here. Pretty uh, crazy as you might be able to see in the background. A lot of stuff destroyed, but it looks like they've cleared away a bunch of stuff. It's really hard to see God as so merciful after a terrific tragedy like this, but it really is the mercy of God that God uses these really horrible things for good and for His glory. George, and you took some other people and just invited yeah, yeah. people to the cafe. So what did they do? They came right away. They were so friendly and so... Yeah. Several different teams have been working on this cafe, and we were actually the ones that were able to get it open. We served coffee and refreshments to people. We would pass out flyers, they would come, and they could tell us their stories. A couple of them actually wanted to sing or play the musical instruments, and we just befriended them, basically, and loved them. Just a good teacher or a, a good leader. It's hard to break in. It made me so sad, honestly, like I've never could imagine like how big is the damage, you know, it's it's hard to break. We walked on the shore, you know, just it's so sad. They are so nice, so respectful, you know, so like welcoming. I love them. It's a privilege to be here. Um, I feel like we're showing the Lord's love. He's open in hearts. Well, so far we've been uh, destroying houses to build it back up, mainly to where the water level went. This is uh, like intensive for me, just for one week. But I'm gonna move to this area, hopefully. When it happened, uh, I was in Australia as a missionary, and I was overwhelmed. I was stuck in front of TV all night. Whether it's cleaning up trash, whether it's serving coffee or playing a guitar, teaching a Bible study, it's been blessed. Pray and pray and pray for Japan. Love the people. My heart went out for them. And you know what? You can have tons of gifts, but if you don't love people, they don't mean a lot. So I think that, that that's what we need to do. Love Japan and pray for them. Lord, 
thank you for your goodness and your grace. Thank you for getting us there safely. We're missionaries to believe in right now, I guess. Just help us be faithful with that. Yes, it's Amen. Amen.